if you would cook this masarapna Filipino pakain back in your hometown in the Philippines, which ingredients would you be using? I am cooking a very special Pinoy dish today which combines maasi, maanghang, creamy, crispy, a whole spectrum of flavors and textures. It is so delicious and can be eaten as pulutan with your best friends and family. After all, it's always the best feeling if you can share your food with others, right? Bogi! Bogi's already excited to join the video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Maraming salamat po. We will start with atay ng manok. I'm adding a little bit of mantika here. And then atay ng manok goes in. So this is our uh, first ingredient for today's dish. Simple lang guys, just mixing the atay ng manok in a little bit of mantika. I guess many of you already know what dish I'm cooking today, right? Now let's set aside yung chicken liver for now. Normally I'm not using atay ng manok for this uh, Filipino dish, but I thought let me make it a little bit extra special today. I have some beautiful baboy here. This is about 1.5 kilos of baboy. Now we're making sisig, of course, pork sisig. And I'm gonna fry the pork here in mantika. Now there's always one ingredient missing, of course, as with any dish. Oh, okay lang. Pogi, what is your favorite ingredient for pork sisig? While well, the baboy is getting crispy in the oil, I'm showing you the sili, siling haba. At sobrang ang hang na sili talaga. Okay, we're gonna add a few very spicy red sili and a couple of um, uh, like mild, this is mild green sili, okay? The baboy is getting really crispy, see? Sarap! Mm. For me, actually, no ingredient is missing, of course, because I'm trying to make it as tasty as possible. Well, I have one ingredient in my mind that could be like optional. If you can guess it, you might get a shout out in the next video, okay? So I'm gonna select three persons who guessed the missing ingredient that I have in my mind. I'm making the atay ng manok fine. Now let's add it to the baboy mixture. So we have 1.5 kilos of baboy and then atay ng manok. So when you are very creative, not any ingredient is missing, di ba? And that's also the joy and the passion of the Filipino cooking. I also love to share Filipino food with my friends and family. That is another uh, nice ingredient, I would say. As soon as you share food with your friends and family, that's really, it will make you happy, right? I'm also adding konting paminta at asin. You should not be too much gutom when making this uh, dish. In the same pan as the atay ng manok, I'll add some butter. Some bawang. To this bowl, I'm adding lime. This is lime and also calamansi. So it's a combination of those two. Lime juice, some calamansi. Okay, it's time to mix all of this together and then put it in the butter. So the mixture goes in. That is pogi. Ang bango talaga. Mm. I will add isang idlok. Okay, we're gonna mix this. Add mayonnaise. Like that. And then mix it and we're pretty much done. And that was my pork seasick. I hope you like it. And if you want to see a nice dish that I cook for winter time, bulalo, you can watch the video here. Maraming salamat po.